Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on arrhythmia. Uh, my name is Ahmed Hadidi, I am emergency medicine consultant. Arrhythmia or uh, dysrhythmia are irregularity in heartbeat and this includes too fast or too slow beats. Arrhythmia can be categorized into four categories, either extra beats, supraventricular tachycardia, ventricular arrhythmia, and uh, bradyarrhythmia. arrhythmia. Uh, extra uh, beats, including uh, premature atrial contractions, premature ventricular contractions, and premature junctional contractions. Also can be categorized according to the origin of the rhythm itself, either from AC node, atria, or AV node, or uh, from the ventricles. Let's start with uh, rhythms from the AC node, which all uh, uh, have the same two characteristics. Uh, B wave uh, B waves uh, precede HQRS, so HQRS preceded by P uh, uh, B wave, and BR interval is uh, constant. B wave axis uh, falls between zero and uh, ninety degree, so it will be positive B wave in Lito and the negative B wave, uh, B wave in AVR. Let's start with normal sinus rhythm which is uh, characterized by regular rhythm at a rate of 60 to 100 beat per minute. And HQRS is preceded by normal axis B wave. PR interval is constant all through the rhythm and narrow QRS complexes uh, less than 110 mill milliseconds. Sinus tachycardia is a regular rhythm uh, freight more than 100 beat per minute can be caused by anxiety, fever, hypovolemia, anemia, congestive heart failure, and thyroidoscosis. And uh, treatment of sinus tachycardia is treatment of the cause. Uh, other side, sinus bradycardia is regular rhythm uh, with rate less than 60 beat per minute and caused by uh, uh, vagal stimulation, sometimes in athletes, increased intracranial pressure, hypothyroidism, hypothermia, hypoxia, and some medications like beta blocker, calcium channel blockers, and digoxins. And of course, treatment is treatment of the cause. Sinus arrhythmia means that the uh, sinus rhythm was beat to beat variation in B to B interval producing a regular ventricular rate. So the distance between B wave to B wave here is not the same as distance between B wave to B wave, B wave here. And of course, RR interval will gradually lengthen and shorten in cyclical fashion corresponds to phases of the respiratory cycle. There is normal sinus P wave with normal axis and morphology and the normal PR interval in all beats. Uh, sinus arrhythmia is a normal physiological phenomena and commonly seen in young healthy people and it decreases with age. Uh, mechanism for sinus arrhythmia is uh, that heart rate varies due to reflex changes in vagal tone during different changes of respiratory cycle, either inspiration or expiration. So inspiration increases the heart rate by decreasing vagal tone, and with expiration, vagal tone is restored, lead, uh, leading to subsequent decrease in heart rate. So here, increase uh, heart rate by decreasing vagal tone, then with expiration, decrease the heart rate with restoring of vagal stimulation. Sinus bose means that the sinus uh, uh, node pacemaker uh, momentarily sees activity. So here, sinus uh, uh, SA node momentarily ceases activity, resulting in abscess absence of B wave for uh, less than two seconds. If you can see here, this is normal B wave, normal B wave, normal B wave followed by QRS. Then there is no B wave, no QRS for almost two seconds. Then again, B wave restored and QRS. Uh, there is many causes for sinus pose like increased vagal tone, hypoxia, digitalis, toxicity, sex sinus syndrome, hyperkalemia, myocardial ischemia, and drugs like beta blocker, calcium channel blockers, and dish tells. Treatment of sinus bose is rarely indicated except in digitalis toxicity or sex sinus syndrome. As you can see here, there is 
both of SA node for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, less than two seconds. As you know, 10 seconds will be 10, uh, two seconds will be 10 large squares. Again, here, uh, it's, here it's normal sinus rhythm followed by again another sinus pulse. Sinus arrest is uh, uh, sinus arrest is for longer duration, uh, more than two seconds. So same momentarily stop of the uh, SA node for more than two seconds. So of course here it's more than ten large squares, and usually results in escape of the SA node by uh, uh, escape uh, nodal peat like this one. So here this is B wave. This is a sinus peat followed by sinus arrest for more than two seconds or even more than three seconds followed by this, this is a sinus nodal peat. Uh, rhythm from the atrium uh, has uh, two characteristic also. B waves ha uh, uh, have abnormal contour and abnormal axis. This is a negative B wave. This is a negative B wave. This is a negative B wave. Other characteristic is QRS are usually no uh, QRSs, except sometimes can be bizarre QRS if there is apparency or bundle branch block. Let's start with premature atrial contraction like this one. This is a premature atrial contraction. Here, this is a normal sinus beat, normal sinus beat, and normal sinus beat, normal sinus beat, followed by premature atrial contraction with abnormal morphology of B wave. Uh, premature atrial contraction arises from a topic focus in the atria, and B wave in lead two may be upright if ectopic focus is high in the atrium, like this one, it's upright B wave, and may be inverted B wave if ectopic focus is low in the atrium. There is a compensatory pose followed uh, follows the uh, uh, abnormal premature beat and it's incomplete compensatory pose. This means that the length of two cycles, so this two cycles, the length of two cycles, uh, premature beat and uh, uh, normal beat is less than the length of two normal beats. Uh, again, premature atrial contraction is a normal phenomena, usually not require any investigation and uh, any treatment. Uh, frequent premature atrial contractions may uh, give the sense of skipping beat in the heart. Uh, in patients with underlying disease like left atrial enlargement, ischemic heart disease, or wolf parkinson one syndrome, premature atrial contraction may be triggered for the onset of re-entry tachycardia like atrial flutter, uh, uh, AV nodal re-entry tachycardia, or a very entry tachycardia or even atrial fibrillation. Wandering atrial pacemaker uh, means that the pacemaking activity of the heart originates from different location within the atrium. So uh, it may be seen in young healthy individual or even may be seen with elderly patient with lung disease and it's benign arrhythmia and no clinical significance. As you can see here, there is multiple, uh, uh, more than three morphologies of the B waves. This is one morphology, this is one morphology, this is another morphology of B wave, and uh, no treatment is indicated. To diagnose wandering atrial uh, tachycardia, gradually change in the shape of B wave and BR interval with at least three different B wave morphologies. Again, here, this is a B uh, wave morphology. This is almost a flat B wave. Here, negative B wave, negative B wave, negative B wave. So three different B waves morphology and different PR intervals. Uh, and QRS is normal and heart rate must be less than 100 beat per minute. So if less than 100 beat per minute and the three different morphologies, will be a uh, wandering atrial pacemaker. If more than 100 beat per minute, we'll have another uh, name, which is multifocal atrial tachycardia, and we'll speak about it in one minute. So if you can see, this is a continuous ECG for lead two. This is a B-wave morphology. This is another one. This is another one. Here, another B-wave morphology inverted, inverted. So different B-wave morphologies, flat B-wave. This is 
uh, wandering atrial pacemaker because heart rate is less than 100 per minute. Atrial tachycardia uh, represents about 18% of SVT, and the mechanism can be re-entry tachycardia, triggered activity, increased automaticity, but the most common cause of atrial tachycardia is single ectopic focus. So can be idiopathic, can be uh, due to myocarditis, cardiomyopathy, atrial dilatation, atrial tumors, and respiratory infections. If you can see, this is a sinus beat, this is a sinus beat, and here this is atrial tachycardia with different morphology of B wave, and of course, the rate here is more than 150 per minute. Then termination of atrial tachycardia and restoring of sinus rhythm of a rate almost 100 beat per minute. It's narrow complex tachycardia and regular and visible B waves. B wave axis is different from that of sinus rhythm. So different axis and different morphology from uh, B wave of sinus rhythm. Multifocal atrial tachycardia means rapid irregular atrial rhythm arise from multiple ectopic foci within the atria. As you can see here, there is uh, irregular rhythm. Sometimes it's uh, differential diagnosed with uh, atrial fibrillation. Most commonly seen in patients with severe COPD, congestive heart failure, and lung disease. And tend to resolve following treatment of underlying disorder. So treat the lung disease, you will treat the multifocal atrial tachycardia. Here again, this is a multifocal atrial tachycardia. As you can see, it's differential diagnosed with uh, uh, atrial fibrillation. It's a regularly irregular rhythm with varying PP interval, PR and RR interval. So the distance between uh, R waves and distance between B waves is totally variable. At least you will find three different morphologies for B waves. But here's the difference between atrial fibrillation. There is uh, uh, still there is uh, isoelectric baseline. You can see the isoelectric baseline in this rhythm. So this is uh, not atrial flutter and not atrial fibrillation. And of course, heart rate is more than 100 beat per minute. If heart rate with the same characteristic less than 100 beat, this is what we call wandering atrial pacemaker. Atrial flutter is neurocomplex tachycardia, regular atrial activity, uh, uh, regular atrial activity of a rate almost 300 beat per minute for the atria and there is loss of isoelectrical baseline and flutter waves in V1 may resemble B waves and uh, sometimes we call flutter waves so tooth pattern and can be better assessed in lead two, three and AVF by turning the ECG down so you can see the C tooth pattern. Atrial fibrillation, it's irregularly irregular uh, rhythm no B waves at all, and there is no isoelectrical uh, baseline. And of course, ventricular rate is variable, and usually it is narrow complex tachycardia. For supraventricular tachycardia, it's regular narrow complex tachycardia of rate of 140 to 100, uh, 280 beat per minute. B wave is usually invisible, and if B wave is visible, it usually have abnormal axis and maybe. Uh, uh, follow the QRS itself or precede the QRS complex. So to summarize, we uh, uh, have talked about sinus rhythm, which is characterized by B wave precedes HQRS and upright B wave in lead to uh, which is normal axis and uh, 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 examples for sinus rhythm like normal sinus rhythm, sinus tachycardia, sinus bradycardia, sinus arrhythmia, sinus pose, and sinus arrest. Atrial rhythm uh, characterized by QRS complex of normal configuration, narrow complex QRSs because it arises above the bundle of S and B wave have abnormal contours like premature atrial contractions, wandering atrial pacemaker, atrial tachycardia, multifocal atrial tachycardia, atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and supraventricular atrial tachycardia. Thank you so much and don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel.